Okay, we're here with Karen Hall now at our stream site in Chatham County, and Karen is going to tell us about the plants here, some of which we want to keep and some of which uh, we do not want to keep along the stream that we're restoring. So Karen, what about this plant here? Well, Mitch, a lot of these urban streams are full of invasive plants. Um, most are exotic, and we want to get rid of those and plant, replace them with native plants. This is an example of a non-native invasive plant that you often see along stream banks. And this is called Multiflora Rose, Rosa Multiflora is the scientific name. And you can tell by this leaflet, at the base of this leaflet, this is, this is Multiflora Rose, by these small feathery leaf appendages here. And that often uh, helps differentiate it between your traditional rose that you plant in your backyard. So this plant um, is one that is not native. We do want to get rid of it. And um, one of the um, other plants, I'm going to show you right quick, Mitch. I just located it while we're here. This is, this is the honeysuckle. This is Japanese honeysuckle. Again, it's a vine. It wraps around our trees and uh, just forms our native trees that we want to plant. So we want to try to get rid of this one as well. So these are bad. and. Um, so if you'll look down this way, I want to show you right here. As you can see, as you pan down the stream, a lot of times homeowners actually mow right to the edge of the stream. And so we have all of this grass. I consider this grass invasive because in a naturalized stream restoration, we want to get rid of the grass. It does not do as good a job holding together the banks as say our native woody vegetation and you might be able to pan across the way where we're having a lot of erosion right where that grass is um, they just don't do a good job of stabilizing those banks so we're going to get rid of all of this invasive vegetation and plant native plants that are going to do an excellent job of holding those soil particles together what about this uh, sycamore tree here? Is that going to interfere with our stream design? Well, if it, this is one of our native trees, and um, we like to try to keep the native trees, but if it is in the way, and in this case it's it's down in the channel, um, sometimes we do have to we do have to remove some native vegetation, um, but it will be replaced with with. Uh, trees such as oaks or maybe even another sycamore tree. Okay, so as we sculpt this stream bank out a bit, that one is going to be replaced probably with another tree because it's in the way. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at this last uh, group of plants here along this bank and sure. what do we have right well, another, here? Another invasive plant that we have that we do want to get rid of, this is, this is called silverberry and if you can do a close-up, you can tell that it's silverberry. Um, it has a silvery, silvery scales right on the back, a small white flower, and again, this is not native, um, not native to North America, and just it, it forms monocultures, and so when these plants form dense monocultures, they don't let any of our other native plants grow up. So we want to get rid of that again and um, replace it with some native plants. Okay, so the goal here is to replace these uh, species that we don't want with natives, uh, low maintenance, and they'll help to protect the stream bank that we're going to create. Absolutely.